everybody welcome back to the channel today we're doing something completely different i don't think i've ever done this on this channel i thought hey let's just give out recommendations because let's face it there are hundreds of manga coming out every month here are 12 manga titles that i'm super excited about i could have included others but i wanted something fresh for you guys that i think you're gonna like and proudly display on your shelves let's go First one on the list here is Under Ninja Volume 1, published by Denpa. This one has been pushed back multiple times in the past, but it is finally out. The manga tells the story of a modern teenager who happens to be a ninja. He is part of a program that was established after World War II to help manage terrorism. Now the 17-year-old is the next line of defense against a possible new threat. This sounds super cool. Under Ninja is created by Ken Hanasawa, who is probably best known for his zombie drama, I Am a Hero. Definitely worth checking out. Vinland Saga Volume 13 from Makoto Yukimura, published by Kodansha. Thorfinn's travels continue in this 13th hardcover for Vinland Saga. This one's a no-brainer if you enjoy good artwork and epic storytelling. The hardcovers are always well put together, but I wonder if people will hold off on buying this book as they wait for the recently revealed deluxe 3-in-1 hardcovers, or will they double dip instead? To be continued, I suppose. But still, if you're already 12 volumes in for Vinland Saga, you probably want volume 13, right? Number 6, Omnibus Volume 1 by Atsuko Asano and Hinoki Kino. It is published by Kodansha. It's a story set in Number 6, a future model city in the year 2013. Raised as a top-ranking elite since the age of two, young Xion lives in an exclusive area in Number 6. And then on the night of his 12th birthday, he rescues a kid who calls himself Nezumi. Nezumi is actually a fugitive living outside the computer city and from that moment on Xion's life is thrown into chaos and starts him down a path of discovering the secrets behind the superficial perfection of the city number six. This is a classic dystopian sci-fi drama and it's going to be collected in three-in-one omnibus editions across three volumes with extra large pages. That is what I like to read. Looking forward to it. I love when we get omnibus editions of manga in over oversized format. The Ghost in the Shell fully compiled edition or the complete hardcover version if you will from uh, Shiro Masamune. This is from Dark Horse Comics. Ghost in the Shell needs no introduction, a sci-fi cyberpunk classic. It has been collected many times in the past. This fully compiled edition contains the original Ghost in the Shell, the sequels 1.5 and Ghost in the Shell 2 in one big hardcover. According to the solicit, it's over 800 pages, including an all new cover created by Masamune himself. If you've only seen the anime movie or series and you're interested in getting the original source material, now's the time to jump on board. Malevolent Spirits Mononogatari by Onigunso. This is published by Seven Seas. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of yokai and Japanese folklore, so I had to include this series. It tells the story of an exorcist called Hyoma that must learn to control his rage over Sukumogami. These yokai have robbed him of something precious, and he is now living with a kind hearted girl named Botan. He discovers that she shares her house with the yokai, and now Hyoma must try to overcome his rage. Highly recommended, big fan of this series. There's an anime coming out as well. Super excited for Malevolent Spirits. The Night Blooms Behind Castle Walls, Volume 1. This is another series from Seven Seas, and this is a relatively new one. In it, we follow the story of Rosa as she dreams of becoming a brave knight, but first, she must be a squire. Doing daily duties around the castle may not be what she truly wants, but it will ultimately lead to her becoming the heroic knight she's dreamt of. This is a mix of fantasy and slice-of-life elements, and it is gorgeously created by Masanari Yuruka, who happened to be an assistant to Hiromu Arakawa while they were working on Full Metal Alchemist. Again, published by Seven Seas, who is no stranger to these types of manga. Really looking forward to getting this and talking about it on this channel. 
Tatsuki Fujimoto, Before Chainsaw Man, 17 to 21, published by Viz Media. If you're a fan of Chainsaw Man or Fire Punch, you'll want to have the story collections from Tatsuki Fujimoto. 17 to 21 features Fujimoto's earliest works, four short stories before his breakout creations. I really hope this means we get more short story collections for other famous mangaka as well. Definitely pick this up if you can. I'm Quitting Heroing Volume 1 by Quantum and art by Nori Kazato and Hana Amano. In it, we follow Leo, the hero that saved the world from the evil demon lord. Now he discovers that there is no longer a place for him. Out of a job and unwanted by the crowd for his terrifying powers, the people have ultimately abandoned him. Shunned from society, Leo decides to apply for a job with his former enemy as part of the demon lord's army. This series is being put out by Yen Press, and I do have to mention, I'm Quitting Heroing had an anime adaptation last year that I quite enjoyed. It's a nice twist on the genre with fun characters and an unconventional premise that I'm sure will attract readers. Oshi no Ko by Yen Press. Here we have volume one finally coming out. This manga was on fans wish list since it debuted back in 2020 and Yen Press surprised everyone last year by announcing this acquisition. Oshinoko has quite the wild premise, but I promise it's worth it. We follow Goto, a gynecologist who is a big idol fanboy. Shocked to learn that his favorite idol, Ai, has gone on an impromptu hiatus, we find out that the young starlet is actually pregnant and she shows up at his countryside clinic. And well, let's just leave it at that for now. It gets super wild and interesting, but I don't want to ruin the fun. The art on this manga is great in my opinion, and it is written by Aka Akasaka, the same creator of Kaguya Yasama Love is War, so you know you're in for some quality entertainment. Honey Lemon Soda Volume 1. Going to lose some street cred here. I've heard about Honey Lemon Soda for many years, but I haven't checked it out yet. This is one of the many popular shoujo titles that finally got picked up for an English release thanks to Yen Press. This is written by Mayu Murata. The story is about the story of Uka Ishimori, a battered protagonist with bad memories of middle school, but a chance to re-encounter with a lemon-colored haired boy invigorates her to give life another shot. I'll be picking this one up as soon as I'm able to. I'm looking forward to talking about it on the channel. It's one of those titles that I want to cross off as red, so I'm really looking forward to picking up a uh, Honey Lemon Soda. Polar Bear Cafe Collector's Edition from Seven Seas. Okay, hear me out. This slice of life manga is about a cafe run by a polar bear. If somehow you aren't intrigued or excited to pick this up, I got nothing for you. The polar bear is running a chill cafe with regulars that all come in to share their stories about love, work life, etc. This is a great series that will be to your liking if you just suspend your disbelief and enjoy the wholesomeness. Oh, and did I mention it's a deluxe edition? Or rather, a collector's edition, I should say. Written by Aloha Higan, Seven Seas is putting this out in a larger trim size, which will undoubtedly look superb on your shelf. Seriously, go pick it up. Sword of the Demon Hunter Kijin Gentosho. Finally, let's close out this video with an action fantasy epic. This one is a manga that I'm super excited about, published by Seven Seas Entertainment. Written by Yu Satomi, this is a story about a young warrior named Jinta that has dedicated himself to protect the priestess in a remote mountain village. When demons show up and start causing trouble, our hero is tasked with entering the forest to wipe them all out. But in his quest, Jinta learns a shocking truth that will send him on the quest of a lifetime. I had to censor this description because there's a whole element that is super interesting about it, but it's kind of a spoiler and I want you guys to be interested. This is really fun. It's greatly drawn. If you like epics and samurai and sword fighting series, be sure to pick up Sword of the Demon Hunter. I think you'll really like it.
So that's it, folks, my 12 manga recommendations to start off the new year in the month of January 2023. Highly recommend these 12. Let me know in the comment section which one intrigued you the most, which ones you're picking out. Are you getting all 12? Let me know in the comment section. Again, thank you, everybody, so much for supporting the channel. It truly does mean a lot. This year, we're going to try some new things. This is one of them. Super excited to talk about manga that I am happy to get throughout the year. Hope you guys are as well. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and all that wonderful stuff. I've got to go. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on the next video.